Tell me your name. My name is PC Bruja. And you're with the Hope Collaboratory? Yes, uh, actually I act as a community educator in Sao Paulo, Brazil, at the University of Sao Paulo in oh. Brazil. And I'm part of the team, Esper's team. And so you created this art? Uh, yes, uh, actually I elaborated uh, this project with the community, with oh. so, uh, aid social movement, uh, in order to call attention for uh, how we people that are living with HIV and AIDS can can think of an elaborated strategy for accessing uh, health services. Mm. So I didn't do it by myself. I had an, it was a, a community team with me. Yes. Effort. So what is and this is you? Yes. What is this? That's say? beautiful face. <laughs> it's my face. <laughs> it is. Um, for positive travestis like me, loving ourselves is also healing. Mm. I think it explains because one of the things that I came here to say is, is that it's very important and we do want to have a biomedical cure, mm -hmm. but cure is not only biomedical. Uh, <laughs> AIDS is absolutely politicized and we need to work yeah. and to deal with the yeah. stigma. Yeah not just the person, but the holistic, the society, the economics, everything. Yes, related. because the stigma, it is materialized. Uh, it's not an abstract thing. It's material and it's absolutely interconnected with social oppressions, mm -hmm. with racism, with transphobia, homophobia, xenophobia yep. and everything that it, uh, the AIDS epidemic has already taught us because when people look at me, for example, or they might look at you as a gay man, for example, they think about HIV in certain ways. They, or society expect, expects us to live with HIV. So for people who aren't familiar, can you explain a little bit the travesties? Yes, travesties is a female identity uh, from Brazil and from Latin American countries. Uh, it's perhaps in other places, uh, or the biomedical, psychiatric, and juridical discourse are very much uh, accustomed to call us trans women, but uh, it's something different. It's, but it, the difference is much more political than anything else. Mm. I think it's an attempt to do not allow our identities to be sanitized. It's more something like this. and to. Travesty is a third gender in Brazil. Oh. I'm neither a woman, neither mm. a man, I'm a travesty. Okay, that's helpful. I think we need to, to call attention. Uh, why did I bring all of this? Because we do need to call attention to the necessity of transforming our institutions. Mm -hmm. to, and it means also to invest in community. Yeah. Uh, really invest. And how can we do it in a capitalist society? It's with also with money because we need it for creating our autonomy. And we have so many things to offer. We have been elaborating the strategies and social technologies for being alive, for <laughs> allowing our, my presence, for example, here alive. Mm -hmm. So I don't think people realize also how far Brazil needs to work to get to a place that's acceptable. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we often associate Brazil with LGBTQ and it's like a good place to go. And yes, I think there is a fantasy created in Brazil. Uh, it's something very related to social, uh, social democracy that absolutely does not exist but it was sold internationally, mm. that Brazilian is very acceptable. Uh, many of us are, but actually Brazil is it's very conservative and religions, Christian, evangelics, and we have so many disputes and we are still fighting for our rights to be alive yeah. in Brazil. You mentioned the life expectancy of it's, a travesty. It's for white travesties. It's something like 35 years. And for black and indigenous travesties, it's 27 years, but uh, there are 
uh, some activists that are already talking about 22 after the COVID-19 wow. pandemic. Yes. And you told me this in when we were taking a ride to the Gladstone Institute. So let me know if you don't feel comfortable talking about it now. But um, you were, we were talking about the stigma and how you do something very bold recently to combat the stigma when the police or government authorities were coming after your community. Yes. You would. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll no, it's okay. I'll okay. share with you. Because as I told you, we elaborate many strategies to be alive. <laughs> and there is a, a mark in, in our, uh, I, I don't know if it's correct in English, but there's something in our identity that we had to create. It's so attached to HIV stigma that uh, police use it to hunt us in the streets and really hunt in the streets uh, just by uh, justifying that they're going to end up AIDS epidemic. So they let's kill travesties, mm -hmm. then we are going to uh, end AIDS. Yeah. And then we create something that we use it to cut ourselves uh, for not being touched, for not being touched. So it's yeah. really violent. And you see older travesties with 40 years, something like this, that uh, were alive in 80s and 90s that, are, that have this mark, those yeah. marks. Wow. That's bizarre. Yeah. Something, it's for example, I don't, I'm not saying it's her case, but it, uh, I like Thais very much because she's uh, 73 years old, oh. travesty, and she's not white. She's absolutely out of the statistics. Mm -hmm. And she is the president of the older, uh, the oldest NGO in Brazil for uh -huh. carrying uh, HIV Amazing. positive people, people living with HIV and AIDS. Yeah. So she's a re a good reference for all of us. That's why she's here. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you, PC, for everything that you're doing. I'm so happy to connect with you here, and for your work in transpology. Yeah. As <laughs> yes. I love it. Keep it up. And um, yeah, this is just the beginning. We're going to keep doing everything that we can. Yes, thank you so much for the conversation. Uh, it's really, really nice to share, to, yeah. to, to collaborate, and let's keep. Okay. It. I think we're going to have other meetings. So I think so, so, for sure. We're going to be here. We'll meet each other <laughs> other times. Nothing that day. Opinions to know how you're feeling, to know if you're losing.